I, I went to him and I told him that I want to do an oral thesis on the Holocaust. And he said to me, can you read Yiddish? And I said to him, yes. You know, teenagers have all these crazy ideas about themselves, but I couldn't read Yiddish. Why? How could... I understood, you know, when my parents... You know, if my, if my mom had a recipe for a cake, I could understand the recipe, but I couldn't read it. I've never read Yiddish. You know, but then I told him that I can read Yiddish, so now I'm stuck with it. So he said to me, you know what? So why don't you do... Have you heard about the Bund? What is the Bund? I've never heard about it. Now, you have to remember that in those days, you know, now, you know, I've, I've written also a book about the labor Zionist movement, so uh, uh, I, I know exactly that all this dichotomy between Zionism and Bundism, it's, it's much more complex. But in those days, you know, the Bund was some kind of bad word. They're anti-Zionists. So uh, they weren't included in the curriculum. You're not supposed to know that they existed. I mean, it's not a good thing. If you're not a Zionist, you are, you are erased from history. You're not, you, don't, you have no right to exist. So, no, I've never heard about what is the Bund. So he told me, go to the encyclopedia. Okay. And then he said to me, have you heard about Shmuel Zegelboim? So, who is Shmuel Zegelboim? So, go and look, for, look, look it up. So Shmuel Zegelboim is the one who uh, committed suicide as, uh, on, uh, on May 43 as, uh, as protest against the world. They didn't do anything to, to rescue the Jews during the Holocaust. So, would you like to do uh, your own thesis about him? I said to him, yes, why not? And, I mean, it's only, you know, some kind of stupidity of a teenager that doesn't know what he does. So he said to me, okay, if you want to do this, uh, you read this and that, and then I'll go with you to the archives, I'll introduce you to the archivists, and you start doing your work. So we went together to the archives and introduced me to the archivists. And, you know, almost all the rest is history. And um, I started doing the work. And it turns out, surprise, surprise, I don't know Yiddish. But what, what will I do? I mean, I, I'm, I took upon myself to do this project. I'm not going to withdraw. I'm not going to let myself down, because I decided that I will do it, so I'll do it. So during the summer, while everybody else went to the beach, I simply was sitting there with a dictionary, which was a very weak dictionary then, and reading articles in Yiddish. And more or less all the, more or less all the rest is history. And I did this paper, and it was a big deal. They interviewed me on national radio, and, uh, and uh, then uh, it was a big deal. And then I decided to, to study his, uh, Jewish history. So actually, I think this is the major thing, this, this, um, this honors thesis uh, is the major thing. This is the path breaking.